Week 4 Schedule In order to escape accountability for his crimes, the perpetrator does everything in his power to promote forgetting. If secrecy fails, the perpetrator attacks the credibility of his victim. If he cannot silence her absolutely, he tries to make sure no one listens. Judith Lewis Herman. She is an author, psychiatrist, researcher, and teacher whose work has dealt with understanding and treating the effects of traumatic stress and incest. This week, we will not have a live class on Tuesday due to our spring break holiday. We will be meeting live on Thursday. So this week, we have five items to complete. So we are going to take a slight detour by reading an article about the di dark psychology of social networks. And this is a really interesting article about the divisive nature of social media and the various changes that have occurred in social media in the last several years. Some of those technological changes that have occurred that has led to uh, more division and polarization. And uh, we'll also be doing a discussion of that particular article in class, come prepared, and there are discussion questions to complete prior to class, so that way you are prepared to discuss and analyze that article. And then we'll continue with the book, chapters 5 to 6, and that won't be due until Sunday anytime, along with the voice thread reading posts and responses, and then also the fourth journal entry. And that will be about a historical event in your life that has shaped your thinking and pursuit of knowledge. And so regarding the dark psychology, there is a link to the PDF article. It is available on the web unless you don't have access uh, to the Atlantic, um, then uh, you will want to use the PDF. And the discussion questions are here on the right. What you'll need to do is to answer them. You need to highlight any word on the page and then go to insert and then add a comment and then write a paragraph answering these three questions. Afterwards, you'll need to reply to classmates who have not received a reply at all. So look for students who have um, no replies and basically be a devil's advocate in that moment. So either you can ask for a clarification question or ask a critical thinking question. Again, just kind of playing on the role of devil's advocate. And then when someone has replied to you, then you answer their question. And then the chapters five and six, um, no, they're fairly quick actually. Uh, so have that completed in the voice thread responses and posts uh, completed by Anytime Sunday. And then this week's journal entry is about a major historical event that has shaped your thinking. And again, be aware not to only privilege intellectual curiosity, but you can also expand that to include uh, social curiosity as well as um, you know, embodied curiosity, like thrill-seeking or learning new activities. And, uh, and as again, in terms of doing well in my class, make sure that you are reading through each of the slides carefully, checking your emails regularly, as well as reaching out in the event you have any questions. All right, I look forward to seeing you guys again on Thursday and also reading um, your journals.